hey guys welcome back so today we'll be doing a stretch for our chest shoulders and back so go ahead take your knees out to the edges of the mat and come into child's pose here we're just going to take a few deep breaths and just ground ourselves for the next 12 minutes and set an intention for today's stretch nice now we're going to come up to our all fours and here we're going to set up for cat cow we're going to take seven cat cows and just warming up into the practice getting our shoulders our upper back muscles and our lower back nice and ready for the next stretches to come so just really breathe here guys and really try to get the most out of this movement nice so now we're going to take our last two cat cows and last but not least you really get the most out of this last one and breathe nice now we're going to come into our first puppy pose and here we're just taking it easy we're getting an active stretch through our shoulders but we're not drawing our chest too close to the floor at this moment in time we've still got more time to get into this and to get deeper and closer to the floor so we're just taking some deep breaths here too And now we're going to gently come out of this puppy pose, come to the front of our mats. Here we're going to take eight circles with our arms backwards, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one nice now we're going to do the same thing backwards or forwards one two three four five six seven eight nice so now we're going to get our right hand over our elbow i'll just show you i'll turn around in a second and we're just going to hold here just like this deep breath here guys and switch nice so now we're going to take our blocks and set up for a nice chest and upper back opener if you're a beginner i would definitely recommend just using one block for this but i will go ahead and use two just because i need an extra stretch and um, my body can handle it so i'm taking these hip thrust movements now because I just want to prepare my body to stay in this position for the next minute or so so I'm just getting comfortable and warming up I also like to get a hip stretch out of this as well I think it's just yeah no brainer go for it you can also have your legs just straight out just whatever feels comfortable for you Thank you. 
nice guys so now we're going to gently and safely come out of this stretch just take your time I don't know about you guys but I definitely felt that in my chest so now we're going to do a counter stretch just like this and we're going to put our blocks to the side and come into a child's pose again just to counter stretch that deep chest and upper back opening nice so now we're going to come onto our chest onto the front of our body very slowly and we're going to take some cobra presses so this is a nice stretch for your back i was actually injured or shall i say strained two weeks ago so i couldn't even do this so yeah it's nice to be back and just take your time here we're just going to go for a couple down breathe bring it back up slowly so here you can try and see if you can hold it for longer looking up just getting more of a stretch but again just take it easy You have to be like so careful with your back um, it does take a while to get that upper back and lower back flexibility so don't rush just take your time and always do your counter stretch as we're going to do now so we're coming back into child's pose again nice so now we're going to grab our blocks and we're going to set up for puppy pose but we're going to do a variation where we have our hands in a prayer position once i get my hair out of the way so you've got your prayer hands you've got your puppy so we're just again working into our shoulder mobility and I'm just going to take my hands out and back. So just like this, stretch them out, bring them back nice and slowly. No rush in this movement. And if this is too much for you, that's absolutely fine. You can just keep your hands in prayer and just breathe deep. Breathe into your shoulders, breathe into your chest. Nice. So now we're going to use our blocks as an extension of our hands into puppy again. So you can see if you can get your chest to the floor. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. It it's something that you can just work towards and something that will definitely happen eventually the more you keep stretching the more you keep using your blocks to open your chest you can come back and practice this three times a week or you can add it to your daily routine if you have a lot of tension and tightness and now we're going to slowly come out of this position and we're going to set up for another shoulder stretch so I'm going to turn around so that you can see what I'm doing you've probably seen this stretch before and if you cannot interlock your fingers your hands then that's okay just have them where you can use a strap a stretching strap or a t-shirt or a towel but you just want to hold here nice now just shake it out 
and go for the other side again as always you'll feel like one side feels better than the other so this is my um my less mobile side shall i say nice now release shake it out and we're just going to come into our puppy pose one more time so again this is like a quick chest back and shoulders opener if you need something longer i would definitely be making a more in-depth video if you need to get warmer and see if your chest can touch the floor and just again breathe 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 and don't try to force it too much guys, it will happen in due time. So we're just taking deep breaths here and we're actively pushing our chest towards the floor, breathing into the intensity it's been a while since I've done this pose so I'm definitely feeling it And now we're going to gently come out and do a counter stretch for our neck. And if you're anything like me and you haven't done this in like two weeks, then definitely counter stretch your neck. You should be stretching out your neck regardless, just because this pose can definitely be intense on our neck. And that is the end of our quick chest, shoulders and back opener. I would definitely be making a longer video in the future but you could do this every day or every other day to improve flexibility in your upper body so take care of yourself guys and i will definitely see you in my next video bye